Up next here on Good Day, getting ready for baby. Whether it's your first child or your fourth, there's lots to do. Yeah. What about once you have the baby? What, what, does someone have a plan then? Yeah, you know? it's always good to have helpful. a plan. That's yeah. helpful. We'll talk also with financial expert what you need to think about and plan for before and after the baby arrives as we come back. 812 on a Tuesday morning. Uh, straight to Don. All right. Good morning. Okay. Having a baby, a huge financial decision. So congratulations if you're pregnant or if you're going to be a new parent. It is time to talk about planning now. <laughs> uh, you know, I've always heard, oh, by the way, this is Cliff Morgan from Strategic Wealth Management here to help us uh, with you. our money management. Thanks for being here this morning. Fun topic. <laughs> yes, it is. Because I've always heard, okay, once you're pregnant and you're planning to have a kid, just try not to think about what it's going to cost you because it's going to be a lot. You say, no, no, no. Oh, plan ahead. Well, if you plan ahead, mm -hmm. everybody gets through it, right? Yes. You're here, I'm here, we made it. We have a lot of friends that have made it. But uh, if you know where you're trying to get to mm -hmm. and you take certain steps to be able to get there, the, the journey can be a lot more enjoyable. And less stressful. So <laughs> Much less stressful. What should we do first? Um, number one, um, well, my wife's pregnant with our third right now, so I'm going through this myself. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> um, first thing I did was I called our health care provider because I'm not looking to pay that bill out of pocket because mm -hmm. it might be twenty, thirty thousand dollars then. Yeah, so now it's probably only gonna cost a couple thousand dollars, so I had to make sure we had the right coverage. I see. Um, and no, we had the right doctors because my wife just wants a certain type of doctor to be able to help us. So okay. it's important to call your health care uh, company as soon as possible and make sure you have the right coverage would be number one. Yeah, I did get a couple of shocks when I had my kids. Because, <laughs> of course, yes, I had health insurance, but there's a lot that you pay out of pocket. Uh, th there's a lot you'll pay out of pocket. Two, um, know that according to national statistics, it costs about mm -hmm. $5,000 a year per child that you have. So you need to bring that into your budget. Because of all the diapers and things like that? Yeah, all the diapers. Yeah. I mean, diapers, preschool, elementary school, up I to 18. See. It costs about $100,000 per child is going to be the average until age 18 years old. See, those are the tough numbers to get your <laughs> arms around. <laughs> but Not to mention the arms around your baby, arms it's, around those numbers. It's $5,000 a year, though. Yeah. So it's bite-sized in what you have there. So what do you suggest doing a daily budget? Do you sit down and start to say, oh, this is what it's going to cost me and start putting that money away ahead of time or what? Overwhelming daily. I would do it monthly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but if you did a monthly budget and annual budget, mm -hmm. um, it makes it bite sized so you're able to do it. Other important things is um, I've had clients, unfortunately, that have passed away. So you need mm -hmm. to make sure that you go through your life insurance again. Mm -hmm. um, you need to make sure that you have disability insurance because you're more likely to get disabled than you are to die. Mm -hmm. um, That's you, what someone told me recently. You know, you often get life insurance when you get married or things like that, but you don't always factor in the children and you need to raise the number because mm -hmm. it needs to cover their schooling if you're gone and I know it's tough to think about but that and, is a great tip. And college is a big thing as well. Mm -hmm. um, had a client recently that passed away but they had a good life insurance policy oh. so their kids were able to go to the schools that they wanted to go to. Mm -hmm. Saving for college, you need to start sooner than later on that. I mean, costs are expensive now. They're growing at roughly eight to ten percent a year right now. Real it's going quickly, to be a big when do number. we start saving for college? When you're pregnant, or after they're born, or do you wait a few years? Hopefully, you already started. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Did I have to start five years before? I thought I was going to have kids. No, I'm kidding. Cliff Morgan, thank you for being here this morning. Thank you very much. Great have a great tips. day. All right, Anna Corey, back to you.